Some Culloden County residents still being impacted by the flooding along the Edisto River. Live Five's Jenna Harezo near Augusta Highway for us now to show us what that part of the low country looks like today. Jenna. I've been around the Colleton County area all day today observing flood water levels and some of those areas impacted by those high river levels seem to be a little more dry today, but some neighborhoods off of Augusta Highway, which is where I'm near right now, are still pretty flooded. One neighborhood called Huckleberry Hill. Uh, residents of that neighborhood were even using boats to get around. Colleton County Fire Captain Casey Campbell says the river's rate of rise slows down overnight, which he says is what they want to see, especially for those who live east of Givens Ferry. Campbell says they've been watching the Givens Ferry water gauge and added that water levels are much higher compared to the impact this area saw during Tropical Storm Debbie. He says the water is moving throughout the county down along Highway 61, and they're hoping Givens Ferry will crest sometime this evening. Campbell says much of the water is filling up Four Holes Swamp and surrounding wetlands, which is helping with that flooding. And even though water levels are falling, Campbell says some residents who live off Camp Buddy Road are still experiencing rising water. And Campbell says a lot of the rain that the Orangeburg area had is trickling it down to the low country as it's trying to make it out to the ocean. And that's a lot of the reason that this area has flooded. Reporting from Colleton County, Jenna Herrezo, Live 5 News.